My friends, among the many different groups in our church, it is young adults that in many ways need our greatest support. Most of the studies in contemporary church life tell us that in times of transition are those times when many people lose their bearings or begin to ask questions or need an outreach in order to remain involved in the life of the church. So our young people, as they mature and enter into adulthood, as they make that transition, find themselves in a world with so many cross currents, secularism, materialism, where they're invited to see life simply in tangible, producible, consumerable terms. They're caught in the maelstrom, in the hurricane of social media, which offers to them the truth and a lot of falsity. In a world that's sometimes disconnected and to find long-term relationships is not always easy. And a world that's transitory since business and industry easily move from community to community. It's in that world that our young women and men are making their transition. So it is in those moments that you and I must reach out with genuine affection and concern and welcome and accompaniment to help them to navigate these waters of modern life. Many times in the church, we imagine creating a program to do that, but my thought on this is different. It really is building communities first, of reaching out one person at a time to get to know them, to assure them of our love and concern for them, to spend time listening first, asking their questions, and perhaps helping them to answer those questions in this 21st century of the church's life. We as a diocesan family stand with our young people, wherever they are, at whatever point of life they may be. And we wish to walk with them, accompany them, and help them to grow in faith and love. That is our mission. And I look forward to helping to realize that mission with you, my friends. And so let us together stand with our young people and help them to realize their gifts and talents, help them to realize the call of discipleship that was given to them in their baptism, help them to become leaders in our church, and help them to transform this society for the better in the name of Jesus.